So the, one of the things we're going to want to do before we start this process is to go back here and do an Orca VM list. Now, as we expect, there is the one and only one VM. Um, that is the one that we created earlier. Now, what we want to see when we go back into Jenkins is that it's going to start a build for us and Jenkins is using or Orca in an ephemeral way, meaning it's going to create a VM for the purpose of the build, run the build, and then destroy that. Um, so it will make the most use of the resources it has. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go back here and click build on. It's going to schedule a build in just a second. We should see a build in queue. And it takes about 10 seconds for that to pop up. And then as we see over here, we've got a pipeline started running our iOS build. The status indicator starts to flash. At this point, we're going to go back and we're going to check on our Orca VM list to see what's happening. So head back to the command line. And we should see that Jenkins has actually created another VM based off that template. As you can see, it's got a different VNC port, a different screen share port, a different SSH port. It's using the same uh, resource profile that our previous instance was using. Uh, just kind of a note in the background, most of our nodes are 12 core Mac Pros. So in this particular demo, we've taken you know the six, half the resources on our first instance and, and we've spun up another one with the other half of the resources. You can carve those up in the ways that make most sense to your build. And as you have more nodes, you can spread them out. But we go back to Jenkins. We're going to see it working through the build. Uh, when we get done here, we're going to have a green dot for success. And then we'll move on to the next steps where we actually look at what the pipeline's done. Okay, so we've gotten a green dot. That means we had success. The build was good. No problems. Sunny skies. Everything's great. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is head on to the next page of the tutorial.